When Star Wars hit theaters in 1977, it was unlike any film that audiences had seen, presenting a worn, lived-in feel world for its story. That visual aesthetic was due in part to John Malo, the film's costume designer who went on to earn an Academy Award for his work on the film. According to the Times of London, Malo passed away earlier this week at the age of 86. Born in 1931, Malo was a military historian who authored several books on military uniforms, and eventually found work as a consultant on films such as The Charge of the Light Brigade and Barry Lyndon. When George Lucas began work on Star Wars in 1976, he approached Mylan Okin and Arrow, who designed the costumes for Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. However, she was already working on another project, but recommended her assistant on Barry Lyndon, John Malo. I met with him and he seemed very good, Lucas recalled in The Making of Star Wars, the definitive story behind the original film, I wanted somebody that really knew armor, somebody who was more into military hardware rather than somebody who knew how to design for the stage. I wanted designs that wouldn't stand out, which would blend in and look like they belonged there. Malo joined the project as the film's costume designer and set about adapting Ralph McQuarrie's iconic concept images into wearable costumes for the film's characters, stormtroopers, and aliens. For Darth Vader, we put on a black motorcycle suit, a Nazi helmet, a gas mask, and a monk's cloak we found in the Middle Ages department, he recalled in the making of Star Wars. We did very little drawing, it was more of a practical make do and end because there was already an established style. Malo worked closely with set designer John Barry, and together, they helped form the rundown look for the world that Lucas envisioned. He was also responsible for the plethora of aliens present in the film's iconic Mos Eisley Cantina, and when Lucas began shooting the film's final scene with hundreds of extras, Malo found that the scene wasn't in their budget. We really had to make do. Nothing was made at all, it was all stock items. Malo and his team scrounged for military uniforms and hats to outfit them all before the cameras began rolling. Their efforts paid off, Malo earned an Academy Award for his work on the film. As you see, he said in his acceptance speech, surrounded by Darth Vader and a group of stormtroopers, the costumes of Star Wars are not so much costumes, as biz of plumbing and automobile engineering. After Star Wars, Malo went on to work on other science fiction films, including Alien, The Empire Strikes Back, and Outland, where he once again created their distinctive, lived-in worlds. He continued to work in the film and television industry throughout the 1980s and 1990s, earning another Oscar, shared with Banu Adhaya, for his costumes for 1983's Gandhi. Malo will be best remembered for his work on Star Wars, which had a huge impact on the film industry. His designs and concepts helped pave the way for thousands of other science fiction films as they imagined their own gritty, lived-in worlds that still entertain audiences in theaters decades later.